and I fell off. 5 a.m. I'm leaving for my second jumping show ever. So if you thought for some reason I abandoned jumping, I'm making a little comeback tomorrow at the Tyler, Texas horse show. I'm really, really, really excited. I'm dusting off my fancy, dancy, bouge blazer. I'm gonna put on them tight pants. I'm gonna go show them what I'm made of. <laughs> Hopefully I can do a little better than I did last time. I just wanna see some improvement. That would be amazing. I love show jumping. Love, 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 love. And the fact that I have you guys supporting me that I can do something fun and so far out of my comfort zone, just like, you guys have no idea what that support means to me. And I thank you guys so, so much. Good morning. What's up, Flomies? As you can see, it's dark outside. I have taken on another adventure. It is 5.30 in the morning. I'm headed to Tyler, Texas to the horse show because... I'm about to, about to strap up and uh, do some show jumping. So I'm so excited. I haven't done this in forever. I feel like I haven't ridden uppercut in, well, since the last show. So I've been busy bouncing around all over the place and I'm really excited. Um, no practice and right straight back into the show ring. I just don't see this ending perfectly, but I mean, maybe, I mean, I've subconsciously practiced. I've watched a thousand videos. Maybe I still have got it. I mean, I'm still horseback every single day. So it's not like I'm totally out of the loop, but I just haven't just picked a fence and jumped it. You know what I'm saying? So let's hope that I can remember the course. <sighs> Here we go. To Tyler. This place looks fake. Like, cue sunlight. Two birds singing. It's like a it's like a credit card commercial. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Of course, very bourge. I am excited. I, I don't even know where I'm jumping. This looks like the only place to jump. Get it? This looks like it. <laughs> but it looks like a hunter type course. I don't know the difference. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. Oh. Oh, I see, I see a show ring that looks a little more jumpery. I'm gonna head that direction. We are 30 minutes away from showtime. And what's crazy is like barrel racers would already be out here like warming up for the last hour and I don't even know where my horse is. And they're just like, they'll keep you posted. It's a little nerve wracking, <laughs> but that's how it's done here. I, uh, I can't say that I hate it. Everybody's out here walking this course because that's what you do. You walk the course and you check it out. And I'm just going, okay, so from one to two, don't fall off. From three to four, breathe. Everybody else is counting strides and I'm just out here just like, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> oh God. The fence around the show ring is about as high as I'm gonna be jumping. I'm just gonna make an entrance. I don't need no gate. I'm just gonna jump that right where it says closed, be a rebel entrance just to liven things up i'm gonna play like my bluetooth speaker with just a lot of hip-hop just like come in hot just you know it's a vibe shoulders beautiful I did the things in the stuff. I went clear, it wasn't beautiful or textbook by any means, but I went clear and I got a blue ribbon. I can't remember the class, I think it was the nine fives. And that's a win in my book because it took every bone in my body to go clear at the last show. And I only went clear once out of like nine times. So to start off that way, I'm super stoked. my first jump off round I went clear and the second time jump off I went clear and here's the kicker 
I lost my stirrups after jump six, I think it was. And it all went to crap in a hand basket. And I, my coach was standing next to the fence and I said, uh, is it possible to jump with no stirrups? And I didn't hear him reply, so I just, I did that. Welcome to the jumping world. And when you lose a stirrup, it was rough. Okay, it was rough, I went in second. Darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again I did the things and the stuff. I won fifth in my last class. And then I moved up to a meter 10, my very first meter 10 class. And I fell off. I didn't like hit the ground. I like stepped off. It was so ugly. Everybody told me like, don't feel bad, meter tens, like everybody does that. My pride is hurt. I will leave with this note. I was clear before I <laughs> hit the ground. So although my pride is injured, I'm fine. Just a lot of, a lot of hurt pride as I pick dirt out of my teeth. I am gonna go do something that I'm a lot better at right now. So I'm headed to the barrel race. I'm gonna take you guys with me. All right, I'm gonna change these breeches for some RD jeans. Let's go. Hey, dear show jumping land. I didn't need the two wah wah after I fell off to know I was disqualified from the ring. I know I'm on the ground. <laughs> that was the worst part. The worst part was that wah wah. Uh, yeah, I'm aware. Let me dust off. P.S. I landed classy AF <laughs> on my feet. I have at this point mastered it. Right when I hit the ground, I was like, that was an improvement. Way to pat yourself on the back. <laughs> Get off your high horse, horn man. I got off mine right there in the middle of the arena, in front of God and everybody. Come on. I don't know. I don't know what, what horn man does for a living, but as soon as I find the address to his office and he like mistypes something, I'm gonna just sneak up behind him like Mr. Deeds and just wah wah right in his face. Ah, on to the barrel race where no horns can come get me. That leads me to Deep Thoughts with Fallon Taylor. Everything that you tell yourself you're so terrible at, what if you took the time to tell yourself that you were really good at it? Or just what would it feel like to be the best at that thing? And then go from there. And that's it for Deep Thoughts with Fallon Taylor. Okay, we done drove 97,426.3 miles to get to this barrel race. I'm exhausted, exhausted, and we're at this barrel race, which is fantastic. There are Flomies everywhere. They're repping the merch everywhere. If you are repping the merch, make sure to use hashtag Valen Taylor, use hashtag Ranch Dressin, but like we say, rodeoing ain't easy. So, I'm very excited to ride my friend's horse tonight. So, I have a really super generous friend that was like, hey, during breeding season, why don't you run my mare at a few rodeos? Her name is Classy, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's buckskin, and I'm super excited to run her. This will be my very first time running her, so I'm pumped for that. But she's currently like a Barbie horse for me that I'm just dressing up. It looks like I'm about to go into the first round of the she NFR. Is a bar racer. I am a full blown bar racer. Bar racer. And I just wanted to look like Jesse Harmon today. So. I'm gonna match somebody every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your gift. You know what? It's my thing. It's like what is it, ESP? Yes. 
If you I match have merch ESP, if you have merch ESP with Jesse, if you're matching her right now, yeah. make sure and tag her in your pictures ASAP. Oh, okay, raise wait, your shirt wait, up. You want? You really want merch yeah. ESP? Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Hundred percent happened. Happened. <laughs> Tonight was a success. I did not ride the buckskin mare as good as I want to, but who rides them great the first time anyway? That wasn't really like, I don't know. I'm gonna cut myself some slack. All of us deserve a little slack. Okay, so on a scale of thumbs up or thumbs down, how did everybody feel about tonight? I'm middle. <laughs> I had so much fun. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. Tomorrow is another jumping show, another giveaway, more fun stuff. So make sure and comment below so you can win some some free merch She's got it. and don't forget to count, count your, your blessings, blessings drink your protein, protein and, and say thank you to Jesus. Jesus. See you tomorrow.